After marrying Prince Harry, Meghan Markle felt she was going to be the bayons of the UK. A royal novelist has accused the Duchess of Sussex of wanting stardom. According to a former palace insider quoted in royal biographer Valentine Lowe's latest book, Courtiers. Intrigue, ambition, and the power players behind the House of Windsor, Meghan Markle, felt she was going to be the bayons of the UK. The Duchess of Sussex resigned from her royal obligations in March 2020 so she could leave the royal family and establish her own business. She and Harry have since landed multi-million dollar contracts with major streaming services. I think they felt she wanted the stardom, she wanted the acclaim, Lowe said to Fox News. The Duchess, according to him, was less interested in cutting ribbons, opening hospitals, and doing all the genuinely boring things that members of the royal family frequently have to do. She enjoyed her fame. She enjoyed the focus. Despite enjoying the attention, Meghan was unable to comprehend the significance of all of her handshakes with total strangers while on her walkabouts. It comes as Netflix declared that the controversial recent series starring the Duke and Duchess of Sussex is the second highest ranking documentary in its history. On Thursday, Netflix released its fourth quarter earnings and revealed a gain of 7.7 .7 million subscribers between October and December. During this time, an ad supported option costing $7, £5.65 per month made its debut. Harry claims in the series that the Prince of Wales yelled and screamed at him during the Sandringham summit, leaving him terrified. Both Buckingham and Kensington Palace have said nothing in response. In the series, Harry also asserted that Kensington Palace had lied to protect my brother when it had denied a report that William had forced him out of the royal family. And in the stressful Megxit crisis conference with the Queen in January 2020, he charged Charles with lying. The news comes as Harry's contentious memoir saw the fastest non-fiction book sales in the UK since records have been kept since 1998. Harry's news-grabbing autobiography Spare sold 467,183 copies in its first week, according to Nielsen Bookdata, which compiles and offers data on the distribution and sales measurement of books. The memoir, which was released on January 10, included allegations that the king was envious of the Duchess of Sussex and the Princess of Wales, and that the Prince of Wales physically assaulted Harry and made fun of him for having panic episodes. The Duke stated that he would prefer nothing more than for his children to interact with the royal family during a string of high-profile promotional interviews. Despite the criticism he has directed at his brother, father, and stepmother Camilla, he made comments about his son and daughter. Additionally, he referred to his late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, as his guardian angel, and claimed that she was always by his side. As Princess Kate arrives in Leeds with a unique connection to the late Queen, royal admirers Wolf Whistle. In keeping with her lifelong dedication to increasing society's understanding of the value of the early years, Kate has started a new initiative. This morning, Kate made her first public appearance since the official debut of Shaping Us in Leeds. The Princess of Wales went to the city's famous Kirkgate Market, which is home to numerous small, locally owned enterprises, and receives over 120,000 visitors each week. The King waved and smiled in return for the warm welcome extended by the throng of admirers and well-wishers gathering. The person who can be heard wolf whistling at her in a video did not elicit a response from her. The future queen consort took part in a discussion with market vendors and locals about their early childhood memories after taking a quick tour of the market, during which she was able to savor the delicacies sold underneath the roof of the great I listed structure. Additionally, Kate made up a walkabout in which she met fans and even stopped to participate in a video conversation with a supporter of the royal family.